Hey, good morning, guys. How are you all doing? I have done a fragrance review today, so this episode is not going to be about a fragrance review. So if you're looking for one, perhaps you can skip the video, no problem. But the fragrance, uh, the video is going to be fragrance related topic. As you can see from title, uh, I am going to talk about fake perfumes and fake fragrances, uh, counterfeit fragrances. I have been talking about this sometime, like from my uh, initial years, but I keep doing these videos. So I believe that this is going to be beneficial for people because uh, fragrance game, it's a very expensive game. As you can see uh, a few days back, I had a meltdown sort of uh, spending too much money on uh, too much money on fragrances, you know, can be a little bit uh, dangerous. But uh, even if you like buy your fragrances, you know, on a planned way, budget, I'm sorry, it's going to be some it's early morning. It's about 8 a.m. So construction going on next plot so it's gonna be a little bit noisy so yeah I was saying that fragrances you know usually even if you do your budgeting or your plan you're gonna to have to spend your hard-earned money to buy a fragrance so I'm going to talk about two sides you know like uh, one side is you know you really have to pay uh, big bucks to get a fragrance okay second thing the other side is do not do uh, like a payment on fake fragrances I'm gonna talk about a few aspects that I've been noticing from different groups I have talked about this before I'll talk about it again because there are a lot more new uh, members so what is a fake counterfeit product versus a clone okay so counterfeit product is something like it looks like original product they have the name and they have a similar packaging perhaps they have similar bottle design perhaps or uh, something you know it, like let's say uh, any fragrance you know uh, if you talk about Creed's Aventus, right? This is uh, from House of Creed uh, in the market. It's going for retail price. Now this is like 100 ml, it's 120 ml, it's like uh, discontinued, 100 ml are there. So if you look for this fragrance, the best deal you're gonna find in Bangladesh, I saw cheapest, $250, okay? Yeah, sorry, a little bit dusty. Okay, so $250 for 120 ml. Usually this goes for like 300, $350 for that kind of uh, bottle. But if you see at some websites, they're selling this Creed Aventus. I've seen it many, many groups. They say in Amazon or somewhere, they're selling for $25 clearance price and whatever. What do you think of that? Okay. If you're a newcomer or you're a new member in the fragrance world, uh, many of you could be tempted because when I'll tell you, when I started my journey, I used to get very tempted uh, in Malaysia. When I started my journey, fragrance are very expensive. They are like full retail price even if you get like uh, some sort of discount it's not gonna be like a uh, 50% off it's not gonna be like it's hardly the case you know but uh, like Amouage, Creed they are not gonna be like 50% off uh, fragrance are more like a, a designer fragrance price would be somewhere like 180 around there you can't find the $20 mark fragrances but then I used to see these you know uh, websites they have this like uh, so-called websites uh, let's say I forgot the names, Lelong or a uh, few other. It's been three years, I forgot already. And they used to have this duty free from airport. So they say they can only buy online if there's no visible store. They're, they're offering like 40% uh, or 50% off. So I saw the prices, I of course got tempted because I was new. I did not know the pitfalls or the traps like people are offering for that cheap. Uh, could be something suspicious. What I really thought like I could save my money, I could buy something very cheap. Whereas Versace Purum, they're selling for uh, 350 ringgit. That is like 70, 75 dollars in Malaysia. That is the price range for typical Versace designer, other designer fragrances. So I thought someone's selling for 30, 30, like five dollars instead of 70 dollars. You know, it's like I can save half the money. You know, I can get super smart. But what I realized, you know, from my research, because I did a lot of research. Uh, then I realized people, uh, there is like no uh, proper customer base. There's no comment, there's no reviews, nothing. And you cannot even go and test the products. You have to blind buy. So I'm like, no way, you know, like, because even if you talk about, let's say, instead of 350 bucks ringgit, if you're talking 150 ringgit, they're offering, right? If you look at those prices or 200 ringgit prices, you'll be like thinking that's not cheap, you know, like, uh, <laughs> uh, let's say it's like around 40, you know, around there, $40. So I did not do it, you know, I did not buy it because I hold my temptation. I saved up the money. I was patient and every um, week, perhaps I used to go to the mall whenever I saved up the money. I used to go and check them perhaps like two days or one day. And then the next day when I go next, I have the money full retail price, then I would buy it, right? So that's how I used to buy my fragrance. In Bangladesh, even like fragrances are 
more affordable because we have the gray market uh, and we have some silly thing going on in Bangladesh. I'll talk about Bangladesh as well. So I never fell for that thing that, you know, it's going to be super cheap. Always I had suspects like, how can it be so cheap? Then I used to go to uh, different uh, Lankawi and some other like islands for holidays. So they used to have this outside, you know, the jetty or outside like let's say Chinatown in Kuala Lumpur city center. They used to have this uh, uh, like this perfume shops. They look like very, very close to the real thing, but they used to have the like extra sleeve, like let's say uh, some of the boxes, they wouldn't match like Eros have an extra sleeve, which you won't find in uh, original product. If you go to main malls like Sogo uh, or you go to Mega Mall, you know, or KLCC, you know, there they wouldn't have anything fake. But when you see these fakes are on the street and they are super cheap and they are like sometimes in coming in 20 mil or 15 mil minis, you really have to check if those fragrance companies actually make those fragrance sizes because in Bangladesh I've been seeing a lot of these fake pages. They are promoting this uh, small, small, you know, they are not like uh, official samples, you know, like official sample is one thing, like let's say this is Alien uh, Fusion, right? They have this uh, sample. These are not for sale. They give it in the... Uh, like boutiques if you buy any fragrance they give you for free for testing so there's like 1.5 2 ml this is one story but these are not the ones they're selling you will often see them you know it will come not these are like decan bottles but you'll see something in this shape in glass bottle and they have some printed 1 million lady million they write it down and everything is the same juice color so for example i'll give you something interesting let's say i have seen one fake a site they're selling versace Purim. Uh, 20 mil <laughs> in Bangladesh and the juice color is like you know yellowish like see-through in this kind of bottle design so first of all uh, the bottle design it's wrong because Versace would not give you like 20 ml they have only 150 uh, perhaps 30 ml and 200 ml and then there are this 1.5 or something bottle sizes second thing is the juice color is blue right if you can see and the juice color if it doesn't match then you know so you have to be very careful you have to do your research if you know what it looks like you can go to google you don't have to be so uh, uh, lazy because end up you might end up being you know on the losing side so if you're not lazy what you're going to do you're going to go to google type the fragrance look at the bottle look at the box design and go to fragrantica go to youtube reviews if there are going to be a lot of reviews you can see the real fragrance are sh shown by reviewers then you can have some idea. If you do not know anything about anything, then you might end up buying those 20 ml fakes. Those are your counterfeit products. So I was talking about clones. Uh, this is a clone. Like let's say I was talking about Club New Intense Man. Sorry, Aventus. And then this is Arm of Club New Intense Man. You guys all know this is sort of like clone of Creed. Uh, Aventus, of course, not the same quality. Aventus is much higher grade fragrance, but uh, the price also very high. But compared to that, this fragrance is much cheaper. You can get like 10 bottles of this for a price of Aventus and still you get a legit product. If you go through this, there's a bottom, if you put a laser light, <coughs> sorry, you'll find a batch code, okay? This product actually has a trace of the real uh, like identification verification code, right? So this is a legit product, even though it's a clone, it's a legit house. They have their uh, arm off, has their own um, certificates and you know their license so it's a legit product so this is a clone so it smells something like Aventus but some people excuse me yeah sorry about that I forgot to mute the laptop so when I was saying like if you see Club Dino Intense Man right this fragrance it's uh, pretty much like a legit product so it's a clone so what is a clone that replicates a proper house they have something like a similar uh, themed of a similar theme fragrance of any a more expensive niche or designer fragrances right so this is club new intense man if you look for it you'll find this product enlisted but those fake ones they have no uh, you know origin so they don't have a company nothing they just make it in the street side or some cheap you know like uh, factories in china perhaps indonesia thailand um, maybe malaysia sometimes in middle eastern countries right so they make those fragrances and uh, they sell it for like five dollars or so and if they're selling it to you like for twenty dollars for 20 ml and you'll be thinking that's a good deal right and it's, you're buying it or even 15 dollars so basically you're actually wasting that 15 dollars 10 dollars buying a fake product and you're thinking like that is the product uh 
that is the genuine product or it's similar smell <laughs> you're thinking you're too tempted but it's not going to be the case because people are not fools those who buy fragrances with their hard-earned money they spend thousands they're not fools they're getting the original product when you're using a counterfeit product what you're using basically some chemicals which are really dangerous for your skin and they don't smell anything close to the original most part and they do not last even if they last these are not the same fragrances. You can get uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, like uh, Lama, let's say, for example, for $20 for the same bottle. And you think you're going to get the same quality as the original? No. I'm sorry to say no. With all due respect, do not buy counterfeit products, you know, because uh, this is the hard-earned money. And you're thinking, like, if you want to use, if you're happy with those products, knowing that it's a fake, I have nothing to say. But when you're actually going to be buying, thinking like you're getting, like, for example, Durham Intense, Okay, you want to buy Durum Intense or Durum Parfum, anything. Uh, and you're getting for like one-fourth of the price. Dior is not going to do that. Dior will never ever like uh, cut their prices to 20%, 30% off. They're going to continue their prices, Chanel and Dior's. And they're going to be around like $180 to $100. And one point, they will discontinue the whole line, you know, if it doesn't sell. So they'll discontinue it. They're not going to like give it to warehouse or something. So when you're going to get some cheap, products let's say some seller is selling highly likely it could be if it's super cheap it could be fake second thing it could be stolen third thing it could be like a scam like they're showing the product but they're not really selling it some different groups i have seen people putting their money and they're not receiving the product uh, and then you know those profiles just you know like deactivate their uh, profiles and stuff you know so what you're gonna do so i think in my group what i really maintain is i do not let fake profiles do business one thing second thing is i uh, check all the sellers in my group and i keep my sellers fixed i do not let anybody uh, just stranger to do dealings you know because uh, this you know it's, it's harmful for the community members so i think the moderators could be a little bit strict on based on the policy and stuff let's say you're buying from ebay very sketchy place you know like there if there is a uh, policy like you can um, buy something but it has like a guarantee that you're gonna get your money back if you're not satisfied with the product it's a fake or whatever that's okay you are secure but sometimes if you're not secure do not do it do not get tempted i'm just gonna tell you like straight if you go uh, taking high risk you should be prepared for high damages as well and you should not blame the other party or anybody else except yourself right so here are some things do not buy from fishy uh, or new unknown websites they are offering very lucrative prices second thing is check the prices on google in amazon and you see world price how much it is okay and then maybe you can go to the local shops where you leave this town go to the local shops and see how much they're going for if the price is around near there let's say it's like somewhere they're selling 60 and you're getting for 50. prices sounds good but always check if it's legit product or not ask in different groups have you tried this seller so in that way, other people will give you, uh, you know, feedback. If you do not get any feedback, perhaps do not do it. Or second thing is take your own risk, right? So in Bangladesh, <laughs> a lot of these sellers, they're very confident. They're cheating people like, like this, you know, they're like 100% original uh, imported from UK and stuff like that. That's pure BS, okay? That is, do not do it. So thanks to my group and community members, we have a few sisters and brothers. Please spread this, you know, like uh, spread this harmful links or uh, these uh, fake sellers so your friends can you know make them viral so we need these people to not be successful they are in every single country right so you don't want to end up buying we don't want you to buy a fake product so always know do not be cheap do not try to get too smart uh, thinking like you want to score big you know especially very expensive fragrances fragrances that are expensive they are expensive for a reason because if it's original it's going to cost you money so i have done the hard work you know because when i bought my fragrance i bought them with all my money you know uh, i know what you have to do to ensure to be okay always buy from known reputed sellers okay uh, if you go to people who do not have any clue what they're doing newbies and everything highly likely they're going to mess things up and they may not know what they're selling to you so that's also dangerous so yes uh, be sure uh, be classy do not be cheapo like going to different groups and like offering sellers prices like instead of sellers offering prices you know i see that uh, some some kids are doing that it's really i mean i have no i do not know what to say really like uh, if you have a decan page or something i see my friend's page 
uh, yesterday one guy was asking i'm gonna give you this much money okay i was like what and the seller and my brother he's very nice he, he was tackling very diplomatic and in the end he couldn't take it so you know uh, if you tackle such people i think i suggest uh, do not do not do it just simply block them because these people are like have no clue they'll be thinking like i can get a chanel for 2000 bucks you know like taka or a decan for like you know like super cheap or for free you know if you're looking for free stuff and cheap stuff it's it's really uh, very silly because uh, fragrances are expensive when sellers buy it they're gonna sell it not at a loss or something right so anyway those are some things i want to discuss today please do not buy fake perfumes be very careful uh, know what's best for you it's hard-earned money where are you going to invest it even if you buy any other stuff phones beauty products whatever apparels make sure you know where you invest your money a lot of scam these days online a lot of people are losing their money in different countries so world has become a very uh, shit place <laughs> nowadays unfortunately so be careful watch out for each other and always spread the good news if you see some fake sellers make it viral in the different groups that's all for today take care guys bye bye